22 Monday morning. I have a doctor's appointment at 11 o'clock. Um, the my appointment is literally next door to a Goodwill, so it's only right that we go in there. Let's go. Okay, 10:53. Damage is done. I only spent $37, but I can't wait to show y'all what I have. I'm, uh, my appointment should be about 45 minutes long. I'm, uh, I have an appointment. I'm doing like a, um, I'm have, I got, I have an appointment with a nutritionalist. So yeah, we're fixing to talk about like, you know, the do's and don'ts and healthy eating. So hopefully I ha get a lot of information I can share with y'all. So yeah, let's go to this appointment. I like we want to double back, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, everything I bought has a purpose and a place. That's, that's what I'm practicing doing now. Not buying too much unnecessary stuff. So, yes, I'm very excited. Can't wait to show y'all what I have and my upcoming project. So, just stay tuned. When I get home, I'll definitely show y'all what I got. Okay, I'm so sorry about the audio in the beginning of my video. For some reason, I keep forgetting to grab my microphone and bring it with me. So the audio sucks at the beginning of this video. And I just want to say that I'm sorry. Okay, so I don't know if y'all remember me telling y'all, when it comes to my shower curtains, I normally use actual curtains. I don't use shower curtains because I like the um, extended look. I like to hang my shower curtains really tall and I like them to be tailored like flushed right up against the floor i don't like short shower curtains i don't like shower curtains hung and floating in the air and right now with this apartment having really tall ceilings that's the problem i'm having right now in the restroom uh, i don't know if you saw a previous video i did where i hung a shower curtain in the guest bathroom it's too short i love the shower curtain but i don't like the look it's giving right now so i'm probably gonna take it down fold it up and store it. With that being said, let me show you the first thing that I got from Goodwill. It is these beautiful suede curtains. Look at this. And they are very, very, very long. These are the tops. They're heavy, they're thick, and they are very, very long. And they were, I have two panels, and I got them for, um, here you go. I got them for $4.59 a piece. Normally I pay that price um, for the pair, but these were $4.59 a piece. And I'm in love. They are beautiful. Something so simple and elegant. And expensive as something like this can really take a bathroom from drab to fab. I'm just saying. And they're coming up like a blue, but they're more of a, in person, they're more of a rich green teal blue. And I love them. I love them. Okay. Up next, I'm going, ooh, got my stomach out. I'm going to show y'all another pair. Now you think those were long. These are extra, extra, extra long. And I got them for $6.99 a panel. I have two again. And they are these um, really heavy, expensive looking drapes. They're like a really rich um, oatmeal color, like a golden. I don't know if it's, see it's not coming up good on camera, but it's textured. Like I say, they're nice and thick, and they are long. They're like a hundred and some inches long, and I think they're going to be perfect in my space. Now, I'm debating on where I'm going to hang the teal curtains. They're either going to go in the guest restroom, or they're going to go in my restroom, because um, it's go um, the color of them, they go, you know, it goes well with the vibe I'm trying to give in my restroom. So either these will go there or they'll go there, vice versa. If not, I'll save them and hang them in the bedroom. I'm not sure because initially when I moved here, I said I wasn't gonna hang 
any curtains. So we'll see. But I couldn't leave this these in the store. And they are just really pretty golden. Oh, just a nice golden tone. Very textured and I love it. It goes perfect really with my restroom. And the blue goes with my son restroom, to be honest. But I want the blue ones for myself. <laughs> okay, next up is this vase. It was $8.99. And it's a nice size and I'm going to put it on top of my cabinet. I feel like it goes well with, uh, let's see if you can see, with um, the theme that I have going on. I'm trying to do like a masculine Af Afrocentric glam, which is new for me. Normally I don't decorate with the whole Afrocentric. I like it, but I just never decorate with it. But this time around, I'm giving it a try. This is just, it's a, um, a glass vase, gold, black and white, and it looks like it has um, like a bronze. But when I saw it, I just thought it went well with, you know, what I was working, trying to decorate with. Okay, that's better. But I think that's gonna look nice up top. Now, I don't know if y'all heard me real good in the last clip, but I stopped by Salvation Army. Um, I didn't get too much, but I'll show you what I got. The color for today was blue. And if you have a Salvation Army New You, I think Wednesdays is the 50% off day. But anyway, I spent $22. So I spent 30. I rounded up because I donated to the veterans. So that was $37 rounded up. And here I uh, donated to the homeless and it rounded up to uh, even $22. So, let me show you. First thing I got was this um, suede black vest with, look at that, with fringes all around the bottom. It's just a nice suede vest. It's hard to... It's hard to show with me wearing black and then it's black up against it. And then I got, now this was a dress. I'm not sure if I'm gonna turn this to a shirt, but this was a dress. Um, it was $3.99 and it's a blue tag. So I got it $2 off and it's from Shein and it is in extra large and this is what it looks like it's giving me versace you see that it fits really nice um it needs to be clean and i'm just gonna wear it with some knee-high black suede boots or yeah and the last thing I got, funny story, a YouTuber that I watch here, she had on a green long sweater dress and I absolutely love that sweater. When I went on the website, I can't remember what website it was, but when I went on the website, um, they didn't have my size. So, you know, I was bummed out about that. But anyway, I found this green sweater it, okay it's like a sweater dress or you can wear it as a cardigan it has gold beads it fits really nice and um let's see if i can try it on <sighs> real quick but yeah It's a really nice cardigan. It buttons up. Now, I'm going to probably wear this with some um, ankle boots, nice um, chunky gold jewelry, and maybe a textured or printed belt. Um, I have a belt. Let's see. 
Uh, I was going to show you this belt in another haul. Hold on. Okay, so now that I'm looking at it, I probably won't wear this belt. I thought this was something different. But anyway, I would do like a pattern belt like this. It's hard to see. Maybe I'll do a video on me styling some of this stuff. How about that? But anyway, I thought it was cute. The sleeves are perfect, extra long. They're not too tight. Um, when you button it, me being kind of busty, um, once you, you know, when you button it, they, it stays buttoned. It don't bust open. So, yeah. I think, I thought this was so cute. But yeah, get it wear like this. I think that's cute. <sighs> All right. Okay, y'all, that's it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed the quick vlog. I have a video that I want y'all to see so bad, but... I can't get that thing to port over for nothing in the world. So I may have to take it and um, it's like 18 minutes long and it keeps saying I don't have that much space. So I might have to uh, go in and chop the video up and make it like two, two or three video. I make it like two or three videos in order for me to port it over. If not, I'm going to take that video. Um, all of the stuff that I showed y'all that I got from Nordstrom's. Um, I'm just gonna pull it out that vlog and make it a separate video on its own. Okay, y'all. See y'all tomorrow. Bye.